So we'll do that. Since I'm right-handed, I get that question a lot. People are like, are you left-handed or right-handed? Because you play open-handed the whole time. You never play lacrosse stuff. And, uh, to me, that feels like I'm clustered. Or, well, I got my hands tied up <clears throat> when I have to cross my arms. So I just do the Houdini and play it by the open-handed. All right, so with that, let's, uh, we'll just let these sticks here. All right, <clears throat> so I'll snip this part out and uh, play it for the person I'm signing these sticks for. All right, so what I will do, since um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but if I hold it up there and reach way up to that camera, you can see on the front. And this which is up here, <clears throat> where it's kind of dark color. That's from hitting all the rubber. That's on my drum kit. And then where it's light color on where my handle is, that's where my strip is or my grip that I have. So, first couple sticks, I taped them up like I normally do to hold them in place. And gave them away. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I gave away a good grip. So I've done that for a couple of my sticks, but it's okay. At least they have, for 2023, when I first started, at least they have the originals from when I started. So that's more sentimental for me, knowing that they have the first first year of sticks that I played on. Um, and now I'm almost at year two. A uh, year and five months right now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to autograph in the section that's nice and light. Um, that's about what the wood looks like when I first get them. These are maple. Uh, it's a 5A stick, so it kind of tapers up in here. 7A usually goes up to almost the tip, and they're a lot thicker. Um, I don't like playing with thicker wood. Um, I like a light stick. And um, like Billy Wilkins said when he first picked up my sticks out of the bag, he was like, damn, these are good sticks. <laughs> I don't buy shit, so, um, and I made a good choice when I first started uh, with Ubi's, so those are right up there, so, I don't like to advertise, but that's, I uh, leave it up there so that you know what kind of sticks I'm playing, I don't have to be asked that, or you don't have to look below, it's right here in front of you, but it's out of the way, so, alright, so I'm going to sign razor blades on this, and, uh, on the other side, I'll probably put my real name uh, for them, but I'll, I'll do that offline for them. Maybe I'll sign it and then just you know, ship it. So. All right, so let's do our razor blades on here. Usually do it from left to right, of course, the um, way I write it. And I'll put the year uh, tick mark 24 on this one. So if you ever want one of these sticks, I have a pile of sticks back here. Um, that's what they're for. Um, so I bought some extra maple sticks and these are what I'm playing these are part of that pile so um, I figured instead of using up my nice Ubi, Ubi loves which are these um, these are also nice uh, they're a nice beginner stick so if you're just getting it into into drumming um, that is a good thing too they're uh, pretty nice and they're actually lighter than these and they're still maple, so I'm not sure how they do that. I don't know if these are dried out a little bit more before they uh, cut them down or whittle them down. Um, but I'm going to be posting a video of how I make my own sticks on my lathe that my dad uh, <coughs> lathe that my dad showed me how to do it. And of course he's passed, but I'm still carrying on what um, he taught me, so it's kind of cool. All right, so let's sign this up. Do my official razor blades that I've always signed everything with, so they'll have my gamer tag and whatnot. So we'll sign razor blades 2008. I'm signing this year with a purple pin. Just 
a little bit. It's kind of hard if you've ever if you've never written on something that's curved. It's a little different. <laughs> it's not quite like uh, writing on something that's uh, flat. But uh, there you go. That's my gamer tag right there. That's how I sign stuff. I've always signed it ever since the gaming. So that's one stick down. I'll sign the other. But yeah, if you ever want sticks, just uh, PM me. Let me know. Someday we're going to have like raffles if I get a whole gang of people here. Um, I do have the ability, um, there's a plugin that I installed to do a spin the wheel kind of thing. And I can put you all in that. That, that comes free with Nightbot. So if you have Nightbot and didn't know about that, that's actually part of Nightbot. So something you can do for your fans. So the reason why I put the um, the year that I, I've signed it is to kind of give that person a moment in time when I was able to do that for them. Because um, I hope to live for a long time. Not that I'll live forever, but um, there you go. Two sticks for that person. And they know who they are because I'll get this video. I'll snip it out. But there you go. Sticks that I played for six months. The first part of 2024. I just retired them a couple months ago, I think. And started playing with the next set. So, there you go. You'll notice um, on the tips, I play with a pretty high intensity drum head. Much like what you would have on a real drum head. Some people that play electronic don't play it that tight, but I like, like it that tight because it gives me that feel of what an acoustic drum would feel like. Um, so maybe one day, if uh, it so happens that I'm somewhere and someone says, hey, is there a drummer that can play something that we need? I could just like, yeah, I could do that. I'd give it a whirl. I can just hop up on stage and just like, give me some sticks and here we go. Um, but yeah, I keep mine very tight, uh, almost like how you would tune a real stick or a real drum head. So that's why I'm able to, with a very light touch, be able to play just like you would on a real acoustic. Um, when you're trying to play the light stuff and uh, when you're starting to hit the heavy stuff. So, there you go. But you'll find, like I was saying, on the tips, they start out, let me give you an example. I haven't played on these very long. I know these are my spare ones when I lose a stick. Sometimes happens now. Didn't used to happen in the, in the early parts of my drumming. Because I wasn't trying a lot of different things. Now that I'm trying a lot of different things, my hands stay loose or looser. I'm not really gripping tight on the stick anymore. I'm letting the stick do the work. But you'll find because this is tight, and hitting these symbols, they have a little bit of, of rubber up there, but not much. It's almost like hitting the steel, just like your drum or your regular symbols. But you'll find that the tips start out big, and you'll see those tips are a little bit smaller. And the tips that I played for a full year are even smaller than that. So what happens is, because I'm hitting so fast and for so long, that this wood starts to compress. And I actually press it to a harder tip than what it was originally uh, designed, which is kind of interesting because those tips I played for a full year, those sticks are darker than those sticks at this point, and those tips are smaller. <laughs> so they're like half the size of what they are there. So you'll get a, a pair of sticks that, like I said, the tip has got a little broken mark when I hit the uh, screw up here that tightens the symbol down, I must have whacked it just right and split it right at the tip but off, off to the side. So it's still playable. And I found that I wasn't really getting anything different with it. But 
I figured, well, we'll retire those sticks, and there you go. And now I'm playing with these, and these are only got a month and a half on them, and they're almost looking like those already. So, plus I'm playing a lot more songs now, uh, as I did, or before I did. Uh, all right, so there we go.